Ladies and gentlemen, exactly one year ago Boris Nemtsov, whom we are commemorating, was publicly shot in Moscow in full view of the Kremlin. The cowardly murder has not been solved yet, although chief investigator Alexander Bastrygin says so. A neutral investigation was never established. Unfortunately, that is something many high-profile murders in Russia have in common. Boris Nemtsov was a liberal, a fighter for justice, freedom and human rights. As a key opposition leader, he often criticized Putin and his politics. Lastly, for the war in Ukraine. He was aware and spoke about that this could get him killed. But his murder was still a big shock to us all. I can very well remember his memorial service last year and the deep unsettledness among all attendees. Ladies and gentlemen, Boris Nemtsov's death made also clear to us how important it is to live in an open society where your rights are the same protected as your life. Boris Nemtsov was a man of courage and dedication. And he was a very open personality that kept in dialogue with many people that would not speak to each other. I am very happy that Shana's vision for the new foundation incorporates both his values and his talent for dialogue and building bridges between people. You may have noticed, ladies and gentlemen, that the suffix for freedom unites us both. The Boris Nemtsov Foundation for Freedom and the Friedrich Naumann Foundation for Freedom. The concept of freedom is the core of our liberal democratic norms and values. It is a great pleasure to now have the Boris Nemtsov Foundation as a strong partner in this struggle. As a liberal and with Boris Nemtsov, I truly believe in dialogue. In dialogue between Russia and the EU, in dialogue between government and opposition, and in dialogue with the whole society. Isolation leads to no good. Also, Boris Nemtsov has made many negative experiences. He has never given up, neither on his mission nor on his country. Or, as he has put it in a 2014 CNN interview, I believe, so Boris Nemtsov, that Russia has a chance to be free. Has a chance. It's difficult, but we must do it. His foundation follows his spirit and aims to contribute to a constructive dialogue between Russia and the European Union. Shana gives, with her courage and dedication, an example to us her father would be proud of. Although it is a very sad anniversary, I hope it will encourage us all to dedicate more time and energy into the defense of freedom in the name of Boris Nemtsov. Thank you.